What does one do with the world? Do they free it? Turn it upside down? Rule over it? Destroy it? And how does one achieve that in the One Piece world? Taking down the government? Well, what about becoming a part of it? In One Piece chapter 1107, a very interesting scene occurred near the end of it. After Luffy knocked away Saturn, we actually see which of the Blackbeard pirates showed up on Egghead. It was Katarina Devon and Van Auger. And in their interaction, we got a small moment with Katarina placing her hand on Saturn and a quick little mission complete after saying him coming down to the surface made their job much easier. But what is this mission that they have? For what reason would they have needed a copy of one of the Gorosei in the first place? And that's where we get one of Van Auger's coldest moments where he just takes a seat, glances over to the Elder, and tells him their goal is the world. This coincides with the quick flashback we got from Kobe where Teach tells us he wants to create his own country and become a part of the government. And now that he has a new crew member who can change themselves into one of the five elders, what's to stop them? What's interesting to me is we last saw Van Auger with Teach himself back on Winter Island when they were fighting Law. And he claims he hasn't mastered the fruit yet, so he can't go very far with the teleportation. And if he can't go far with the fruit yet, then it's easy to assume that Blackbeard is very close by waiting to strike to finish off the real Saturn in order to have Katarina step in as a doppelganger of sorts or a, uh, a stand in pulling the strings for Blackbeard's crew. And in order to do that, all the witnesses are going to need to be removed from the scene. All the Marines, Admiral Kizaru and St. Jay himself. Now, I imagine that by the time the Blackbeard pirates enter into Egghead, the Straw Hats and the Giants will already have left. This will keep the Straw Hats in the dark about Blackbeard's plan, ensuring that they won't be able to interfere later down the line, and at the same time, make his job easier in dealing with the Admiral and the Elder. And that's where Caribou steps in. This swamp-ass mother- hey! He has been in both Fishman Island and in Wano, in a position to learn both about Shirahoshi being the ancient weapon Poseidon, as well as the ancient weapon Pluton being uh, submerged in old Wano. Now that he's introduced himself to, you know, members of the crew, he's able to get an in with Blackbeard, essentially set Blackbeard up to acquire the two ancient weapons. Because if Blackbeard learns about the whereabouts of these weapons, who's really to stop him? Fishman Island doesn't really have any heavy hitters as far as we know, and Wano only really has Yamato, which I think she's strong, and this isn't a disrespect to Yamato's abilities, but at this point in time, she's not strong enough to hold back Blackbeard and his crew. And I, I don't think the scabbards are doing a whole lot either, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I I, I really don't think the scabbards are gonna be doing much against uh, the Titanic captains. Taking Shirahoshi from Fishman Island is just going to be a matter of sailing over there and basically grabbing her. And the only thing preventing Blackbeard from beating Pluton is the borders of Wano, which he can now just destroy with this Quake Quake fruit. With all those things in mind, now in previous videos, I've talked about how I believe certain events will take place for the end of the series. Taking into account Oda's message about the One Piece being found, marking the end of the story, my line of thinking has been, Shanks and his crew arrived to Laugh Tale because Shanks already knows where the last island is. Even though he wasn't on the island himself, he was with Roger and the rest of the crew when they mapped it out. Then Blackbeard and his crew get to Laugh Tale and defeat the bread-haired pirates. Now you might think, how's Blackbeard gonna get there? He would have recovered Law's Poneglyphs when he defeated them on Winter Island, more than likely. I'm, I'm pretty sure that he would have recovered the Poneglyph rubbings. Those including Wano's, Zoe's, and arguably Big Mom's since he had been with the Straw Hats before and after Whole Cake Island. And he will more than likely find the man marked by flames in order to get the fourth. Next, the Straw Hats arrive at Laugh Tale and defeat Blackbeard with Luffy then being crowned as the next King of the Pirates. Then as the King of the Pirates turns to the world government to finally take down Eam and the Gorsei in the final war as a symbolic King of the Pirates versus King of the World situation. And with the destruction of the Grand Line, creating the One Piece where all the oceans are connected. I'll, I'll credit Ohara and the Japanese YouTuber who he got that theory off of, but regardless. However, that line of thinking may be changing a little bit for me. If Blackbeard were to obtain two of the three ancient weapons, and have someone on his crew able to copy the form of one of the Gorsei, what's to say Blackbeard doesn't become the king of the world in his own right? If he's the inheritor of Rox's will, as many believe, then seeing him set up with so many powerful cards in his deck puts him in a position to take that title for himself. Then that would work more into Oda's message about 
the One Piece being found marking the end of the series, and would also make him truly fitting to be the end of series villain over the current king of the world, Eam. And this is where everything begins to fall in place for Blackbeard. We currently left Caribou trying to talk his way into going along with Van Auger and Katarina Devon, and if he does, we can bet that the next time Blackbeard shows up will be him taking one of the ancient weapons. I can see it being Pluton first in Wano, and then Fishman Island for Poseidon. Luffy's gonna learn what he's trying to do after taking Pluton and go to try and stop him from taking the second one in Fishman Island. And that's where Luffy fulfills the prophecy by destroying the island during that battle. Now, this is of course speculation, but we do make some predictions here for the story. But let me know what your thoughts are for the topic at hand. Leave a comment down below. Do you think Blackbeard will make it to Laugh Tale before the Straw Hats? And do you think he'll start taking ancient weapons for himself, putting himself in a position of power over that of even Eam? Leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content on this channel. Stay tuned for the next video, and I hope you all have a wonderful night.